Today I'm going to show you how to remotely access our Linux server. But the first thing you have to do is um, follow the instructions for the VPN. Otherwise, it won't work. All right, which you probably did last time. Then you need to download um, a secure shell. You just just Google Putty and download it. Um, you don't really need to install it. You can just download uh, whatever executable you want. Um, I can even download it again. It's that s it's that um, small. All right. Now because I've used it before, it it just remembers. But all you got to do is type in intersanctum.engr.sgsu.edu, and then you open it up. All right. Um, there's two groups. One is QIF1. The other one will be QIF2. So log in there and um, I will email you guys the password. All right. Now you really only have to do this, um, what I'm about to show you, very infrequently, which is basically to get a VNC uh, server desktop running. And you'll see that it'll always be there. So you don't have to do this every time you want to log in. So you need to start a VNC server. So you just type in VNC server. Um, the first time you do it, you will have to set a password. I'm doing that now, and I'll email you the password later. Verify it because it's the first time. Is that going to work? So what to get out of this is it's created a VNC desktop at 6. All right. Now the thing is, is even though uh, there's two user IDs and there's six of you, the group in QIF1, you guys can create your own uh, desktops right, with your own number that you can remotely log in and um, not interfere with each other. So then if you come here, again, you run it, inner sanctum, da 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 da, that was six, All right? Continue, you type in that password Again, it's not encrypted, so don't do anything that you need to be secure here. Um, and I'll show you the beauty of doing it this way is let's say um, I just start a console and there's a editor called gedit All right, that'll pop up and you know you can be typing away and let's say the internet connection goes down or you have to leave or log out or you don't log out you actually just kill this screen what you're doing is still running in the background and if you want to access it again you just go back to six And see, it left off right where you're at. The other ways of doing it, um, if something goes wrong with the internet or um, you log out, everything is lost, that, that isn't saved. Well, you, I mean, you should always be saving and backing up. But um, this really is, I think, the best way to go. Uh, we use a different thing. We use remote desktop. But honestly, um, it doesn't seem to always work so that's pretty much it I will email you the other I will email you the passwords um, and you just go and create your own each each group member right group QIF1 will log in right QF2 will log in and you'll make your own um, VNC servers right and um, what you can do is just, you know, in Linux, 
if you want it when you start to do the tutorial you can make a dir a directory you know something called your name so that only you will be operating on your files in there because ultimately we're each group is going to be working on the same project so you'll have the same um, the same project files to work on and actually cadence kind of makes it so that only one person can work on a file at a time but um, at least with this you can uh, once I set up uh, everything you can start working on that tutorial from 166 so that's it